cross-sectional data sets allow us to study differences between cases. When we add more observations over time for each case, then we can also study change over time. Whether we should be interested in the difference or in change depends fundamentally on our research question. Let's take a look at an example. So we have firm one and firm two and we have their development over time. Now the question is which one of these firms is doing better? That depends on, on the context of the question. For example if the question was which of these firms would have been a better investment in the last five years then firm one would have been a lot better because they are more profitable on average. If on the other hand we are a manager of a company and we want to uh, imitate either firm one or firm two we should need to consider do we imitate the company that is declining or do we imitate the company that is increasing its performance. So this company is clearly doing something that causes its performance or profitability to go up and typically a manager would want to their company to be more profitable therefore imitating firm two is probably a better idea. So depending on the context of the question firm one can be better or firm two can be better depends on whether we are interested in difference or in change. Difference and change are supported differently by various models. This is the, the latent growth model. So intercept here gives us the initial difference and slope here gives us the direction of change for each company. We might be interested in uh, explaining these two variables. We can add a third variable x here. So are we now interested more in how x explains initial difference or whether how x explains whether some companies are interested are, are improving of than, uh, more than others. Typically we are more interested in the change because the process that unfolds over time is more related to causality. The same thing can be seen in, in the mixed model. So we have difference and change in the level two firms or initial difference and change in the level two effects and uh, which one we are interested in again depends on the context. In first differencing and, and fixed effects estimation we only get the change. So when we take the unobserved differences out from the data then we can't say anything about differences because we, we take the differences out. We only get estimates of change. So which one should you be interested in difference in change or change depends on the research question. Difference is modeled by the between effect. Differences are more difficult to interpret causally because causality is a process that unfolds over time and if you don't observe the time dimension you only observe averages over time then it's difficult to say if there's a causal process or not. Then there's also the contextual effect which can be used to estimate whether the differences are simply due to the change process that unfolds over time or whether there is some more fundamental difference between the observed units. Then we have the change. If we are interested in change over time, why some companies develop to be better and some companies decline, then we need to take a look at the within effect. And it is easier to interpret causally. However, the within effect is rather uh, short term. So sometimes you need to take a look at these longer term effects. So looking at difference when you want to uh, analyze longer term causality might be a good idea. In the end, the difference between difference and change is fundamentally related to the research question and you need to first think through which of these quantities of interest is of interest for you before you construct and interpret your model.